Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back. Today we'll be talking about OData and Mendix Connect. We'll cover publishing and consuming OData in Mendix, including working with remote entities and Mendix Connect. No time to waste, let's go. To get started, head to the domain model and right click on the entity you want to publish. Select publish in OData service, click on the module you want to save the service in and click new. You need to enter a name for your published service. Next, you will be prompted to choose an attribute or multiple which will serve as a key for this entity. This key should never be empty, so I like to create an auto number attribute on the entity to serve as the key. After selecting the key, we can move on to configuring the capabilities of the API. Records can be insertable, readable, updatable, and deletable. For each option, you can select from the dropdown to use default database read write behavior or to use a custom microflow to handle the transaction. You can choose to define a custom exposed set name, which is the final part of the URL for the API. And finally, decide if you want to use paging for the API before finalizing your choices by clicking on OK. All that's left to do is configure security under the settings tab for the API. By default, requires authentication is set to yes. Under authentication methods, you can choose between username and password, active session, a custom method via microflow, or a combination of these. Regardless of your choice, you will have to select the user roles allowed to access the API. Click the select button and choose the user roles you should have access or disable security by setting requires authentication to no. At this point, you have a functional OData API. After you deploy your app to the Mendix Cloud or Mendix Free Cloud, your service will automatically be registered in the Mendix Connect catalog as a remote entity. Now that the API is published in the catalog, it becomes available to use as a remote entity in any other Mendix app which you or your company creates. In another app of your choice, simply open the integrations panel, which you can find in the view menu, and open the domain model. From here, you can search for the entity in the search bar for your published entity. If your app is published in the Mendix Free Cloud, you will need to enable Show Development Environment in the search filter. From here, simply click and drag the entity in your domain model, and you can use it freely in your project just like any other. You can also manually add OData resources to the catalog, either through the Catalyze UI form or the Registration API. To find out more, look up Registering Resources in the catalog in our docs pages. That's everything you need to get started sharing data with OData and the Mendix Connect catalog. In the next video, I'll be talking about SOAP and getting started with consumed web services. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it, subscribe to support the channel. Until next time, I'm Ryan Mocky and this is Hello Mendix.